everything's back to the way it was, right? Oh, I think it's safe to say so, yeah. So, you mean... Finally! Oh, it's all over! <laughs> Thank goodness! It appears this case is closed, so to speak. It reminds me, where are Sophia and Ichinose-san? I'm right here. Great job, everyone. I'd call this mission a real success. I'm glad you're safe too, Sophia. Where's Ichinose-san, though? She should have been with me. Oh, good. You all made it back in one piece. <laughs> I hear you there. And same for you. Looks like everyone's gone back to normal. They don't remember what happened to them, do they? Correct. At least, whatever events took place while their desires were gone. I see. I'm so sorry for all the trouble I caused you guys. Ichino say? My apologies. But I'm going to head out now. I have a lot of thinking to do. Hey! Uh, are you sure you're okay by yourself? Yeah. I'm going to head back home to Shibuya. It's been years since the last time I was there. For a long time, it was just the place where I stashed away everything from my past. But now, I need to go back. Well, be seeing you. I wonder if Ichinose-san will be alright. Hmm. People can get all caught up in what others have to say, and wind up forgetting what they have to say for themselves. At the same time, just a few words can end up being a lifeline to somebody too. I'm sure you were able to talk sense into her, Sophia. Just give her some time to process. You got it. Thanks, Sankichi. Well, not to bite her style or anything, but I ought to say my goodbyes too. What? what what's the rush, Gramps? We may not have brought a god down to the station, but we did find the culprit behind this whole mess, and foiled the entire scheme. I'm sure the bizarre incidents are in our past now, but thanks to the Monarch's confessions, you're all in the clear. That means our deal's through. What do you mean by that? Don't say such sad stuff, Senkichi! Come on, man. You remember I only met up with you guys so I could use you. Yeah, but like, you didn't really have a choice, did you? If anything, you are our most valuable asset. Yeah, we owe you an awful lot, Zenkichi. <laughs> Thanks. You know, it really was great meeting you all, to be totally honest. I was originally jealous of you. Since my line of work means a lot of wasted effort getting things done, your direct results sort of felt like cheating. It was really bugging me for a while there. Zenkichi. But at the end of the day, not only did you guys rescue me, but you literally saved Akane's life. That's what opened my eyes and showed me the things I needed to do. <laughs> the things I'd lost sight of over the years. I guess my heart got changed before I could even see it coming. <laughs> Feelings mutual. You taught us an awful lot too, you know. Like the challenges you can face when trying to live by your beliefs. As well as the pains of child rearing. <laughs> Good point. But there's a lot of joy to find in those things too. At this point, I'm finally ready to take care of something that's been plaguing me for a long time. You mean Awada. Right. I got no reason to hold back anymore. I know what I have to do. What you have to do... Yeah! Break a leg, Gramps. Gotcha. But it's not like this is the last time we'll ever see each other. I'm sure we'll cross paths again soon enough. I hope so too. No, I know it. Just do me a favor. Next time we meet, make sure it's not in an interrogation room, okay? But if anything does go down, feel free to reach out. I swear I'll do whatever I can to help. See you, Phantom Thieves. Or, no, you damn kids. There he goes. Then Kichi's great showdown in our world is about to begin. Sure, he'll be fine. We ought to get going now. Yep, home sweet home awaits, along with a nice big helping of Soji Rose Curry. Looks like our journey's finally coming to an end. Uh, we 
you're home. What were you thinking? Coming home a day late. You didn't even call to let me know. S -s Sorry, Sojiro. We had to fight this massive god and beat it and save the world from getting brainwashed and, and then... <sighs> Jeez. Well, at least you guys are safe. Welcome back, kids. Oh, and you too. Meow. Uh huh. Hope you had fun. Sojiro, it was amazing. There's so much I gotta tell you. But I'm too wiped out today. I just wanna eat until I pass out into my curry. Sojiro, curry. <laughs> Already got it ready for you. Just give me a sec to heat it up. Sojiro, you're the best. Ah, oh, that aroma of coffee and curry. This place really is comforting. Coffee and curry? Does that mean boss is behind the counter? Huh? Haven't I heard that voice somewhere before? Oh, that's right. I never had the chance to introduce myself. Nice to meet you, Sojiro. I'm Sophia. Humanity's companion, and a member of the Phantom Thieves. You have accomplished your goal with magnificent aplomb. Despite all manner of hardships, your bonds and your fortitude staved off the oppressive darkness, shining brightly for all humanity. You have again broken free from the shackles of fate and grasped your future for yourself. As a result, the god sought by many has returned to the void. Some may be lost without it, with nary a hope to cling on to, be that as it may. I believe the blazing will that you fostered throughout your journey has been embedded deep within the hearts of mankind and will surely blossom into hope for them when they most need it, allowing them to face their own challenges with strength and grace. Thank you, Trickster. Allow me to praise you in my master's stead. You were truly a remarkable guest. May our paths cross yet again one day. Until then, sweet dreams. <clears throat> this crazy summer's given us a whole lot of grief, but our mission was a success. And we made a bunch of great memories together. So, let's get this celebration going! Woo! Applause! Applause! <sighs> What's wrong, Ryuji? You don't appear to be your usual self. Man, I could not fall asleep last night. Ah, my bed at home just wasn't doing it for me. I gotcha. Our bodies are all specced for the Feathermobile at this point. I find myself missing the Feathermobile, too. Why'd you change the name when we don't even got it anymore? Isn't it called the Phantomobile? That was true. At least for a little while. Anyway, it looks like nobody besides us thieves remembers what happened at the Tokyo Radio Tower, just like last time. Ugh, that sucks. Considering it was our asses on the line and all. Patrolling society from the shadows, slaying evil in secret? I admit it sounds rather alluring. Well, yeah, but don't you want some kind of recognition every once in a while, too? You know, like fangirls and that kind of stuff. Still, we made all sorts of unforgettable memories. I couldn't have asked for anything more. Same here. It was a new experience at every turn. It was the best. Mm -hmm. And we can rest easy knowing we did everything we could to help. Any loose strings.
things left are in the middle of being wrapped up. Ah, oh, man. Gramps would have really helped to turn this party up, huh? I bet he'd say he's too busy trying to bring in Awada to attend a celebration just yet. So we're all partying while Zenkichi's still busting his buns on the case? Now I'm feeling a bit guilty. Maybe because you remembered school starting back up soon? And doesn't that go for all of you? Oh, yeah, that reminds me. When are you heading home? Tomorrow. Huh? Really? Time sure did fly by. Well done, man. And make it soon, okay? Sophia, will you be joining them? You got it. And what if she ends up sniffing out of jail in his hometown, huh? <sighs> like that would ever happen. Now that you mention it, I wonder why Sophia was in the Shibuya jail anyway, of all places. Good point. Well, Ichinose did mention that she used to live in Shibuya. Perhaps Sophia was originally located within her house. So, when Emma picked up on Sophia's existence from the Metaverse side, that cognition... Ah, this is all speculation. But even if that's how any of it worked, it'd have to be some sort of miracle. Since we're on the topic, Sophia, you seemed a bit distracted after we defeated the Demiurge. Did something happen? Oh, that. I heard Emma's voice. Huh? You mean the one only you can hear? Yes. I was issued a final request. Please follow your heart to save humanity. Emma asked you that? Had we been able to reach a mutual agreement, perhaps Emma could have followed Sophia's path rather than face destruction. I believe this is proof of the true power that the Phantom Thieves hold. Artificial intelligence is not the enemy of mankind. We were born to help people, but just like people, we are capable of errors in judgment and can stray from the right path. Our users, their input, our experience, these all mold us to take a wide variety of beliefs. If only Emma had learned and grown with a good companion. Then why don't you give yourself the directive to show others how it's done? What? Since you're such a good companion to humanity, you can be a positive role model for how AI and humans can work together. Oh, I couldn't even count how many people that'd end up helping in the end. Thank you, everyone. Oh, but I can't leave the smartphone. That's a shame. Being a role model and helping countless people will have to wait. <laughs> Not so fast, Sophia. I've cooked up an ultra epic. God, shut up, shut up, shut up. This is getting too close to being a downer. This is a celebration, right? Celebrate. Come on, uh, Yusuke, you, me, soda chugging contest, now. Um. I don't know if we're ready for that. Such idiocy. To think you could consume more than I. Hey, you better not spill any of that. <coughs> you idiots! Oh, you got soda all over my fur! Uh, not exactly the celebration I'd planned. Thanks for ruining the celebration for me, Ryuji. But it was fun. Everyone seemed to be having a good time. Yeah. I guess I had fun too. So, will the Phantom Thieves be disbanding tomorrow? Uh, we don't have a choice with school and everything starting back up. Ryuji and Lady An already have their plates full with homework as it is. <laughs> me too. And Yusuke? I'm sure he's ready to get back to his artwork. Makoto and Haru are heading back to college. I wonder what life is like there. They didn't seem too bummed on their deal. Sure, they complain from time to time, but it sounds like they're having fun overall. And Futaba seems to have gotten a lot stronger too, huh? Considering how she seems now, she's not gonna have any trouble at school making new friends. Everyone has found their own path. Well, I 
I was wondering what my path is. You'll find it soon enough, Sophia. Until then, feel free to stick with this guy and me. Thanks, you two. We're really heading out tomorrow. I still wish we had more time, but we ought to get some rest. Careful on your way back. See ya! It was a real blast. Drop us a line whenever you're back. No matter what you're doing, we'll drop it to meet you. We'll be waiting to hear from you. Are you gonna be back for winter break? You know you could come back sooner, right? The attic's all yours whenever you like. It'll only cost you a few hours behind the counter. You take care too, Morgana. Lady On. Well, it pains me to leave you. I must keep watch over him. See you later, Mona-chan. Listen to your owner, okay? No, he listens to me, and I'm not a pet. <laughs> keep an eye on these two for us, okay, Sophia? Okay, I've got it. Oh, I almost forgot! What's the matter? I have a present for Sophia. A present? Indeed. I didn't get a chance to give it to you yesterday. Oh, one moment, Futaba. There's a message from Ichinose. What did Ichinose-san have to say? Sure didn't expect that. Let's meet her. I'm curious. I admit, I'm curious as well. Are any of you two busy to join us? Not at all. In fact, this seems right. Yes. One last little farewell trip together. She said to meet her here, right? Yeah, but I don't see her. Maybe we just meet her here. What do you say we wait for a bit? So hot. Melting. I'm evaporating in five seconds. <sighs> Perhaps we could find a spot to stay in a way that isn't directly in the sun. Huh? Wait, look at that! We now bring you breaking news. A shocking turn of events in the political realm. Moments ago, an arrest warrant was issued for legislator June Owada. The charges against Mr. Owada span from bribery and tax evasion to... That's... A fleet of police vehicles have encircled the Diet Member's office building, which is reportedly being searched at this time. We now take you to the investigation team's press conference, live at their headquarters. We have uncovered evidence that shows Mr. Owada illegally accepted funds from the company Medis. Additional investigations into his numerous other charges are currently underway. Regarding the specific hit-and-run incident two years ago, wherein Mr. Owada's secretary claimed to be the culprit, we have learned the true culprit was Mr. Owada himself, driving his own vehicle while under the influence of alcohol. The concealment of this fact involved multiple high-ranking members of the police force, all arrested for conspiracy to conceal evidence. I cannot apologize deeply enough for the flagrant, abysmal disregard for truth and justice from this department. We intend to follow our investigations to the absolute end, not only for justice's sake, but for that of the people and their faith in the police. Whoa, is, is this real? Wait, that Owada? And the police were in on it? Isn't this, like, a huge deal? Furthermore, there are claims that Mr. Owada's criminal activity extends well beyond that with Medis, including suspicions that he ordered the murder of his secretary two years ago, as well as... Isn't that... Senkichi-san did it! He finally got the person he's been after for so long! Yeah, Gramps pulled it off! That dude really is badass! 
The perpetrator's finally caught under the light of truth. A job well done. Looks like he wasn't just trolling us about his skills. No wonder he made such a good part of our team. <sighs> He's finally avenged his wife. Yep. Just like he promised to Kane. Not only was the killer caught, he was the one who collared him. I'm so happy for Zenkichi-san. Hey, been waiting long? Ichinose-san! Wrapping up the paperwork at the police station took a lot longer than I'd expected. The police station? I actually went straight there and turned myself in the moment we finished our conversation. Hang on, but what you did was... Kanoe was the one who abused Emma's power. If you turned yourself in over all that... Setting Emma loose upon the world like I did would have led to its destruction if not for you all. I know that's true. Not only that, there's no denying I directly hurt you all as well. I thought I should be punished for that. At the very least. Ichinose! So, I confessed everything to the police. <laughs> Big surprise. They didn't believe anything I said. Well, it's not exactly the easiest story to buy. I even tried to get Hasegawa-san to help with my confession. <laughs> he just laughed it off. The police are too busy for fairy tales right now. That sure sounds like Zenkichi. <sighs> anyway, I originally planned to do this once I was released from jail. But I'm thinking of taking a journey of my own. A journey, you say? Yes, a sort of quest to learn about the human heart. <sighs> I thought Emma really would guide humanity to a better world. But once Sophia changed my mind, that was when I noticed something. The eyes of everyone saved by Emma. They just looked cold and dead. Like you all. Sophia included. Your eyes were so brimming with hope that it opened my own. Sophia learned about the human heart by joining you on your journey. You shared good times and bad. You were there for each other when you needed it. And you learned to understand each other. I don't know if I'll ever be able to do that kind of thing, but I want to speak with other people about the heart when learning this time. Try and really do it right. I just needed to make sure I apologize to Sophia and you all properly before I depart. I truly am so, so sorry for putting you all through so much pain. He's right. It's all been taken care of. And we're not sore over it. Thank you. Hey, I have a request of my own. Really? What is it? I... Well, I want to join Ichinose. Huh? You mean go with her on her journey? You've all done so much for me. You accepted me when I had nowhere to go. You said I was your teammate and friend. You gave me a home. It made me so happy. I constantly felt warm and fuzzy inside. However, everyone now has their own path to the future. Thanks to you all, I've learned so much. I've even found my path to follow. The path I need to take as humanity's companion. I want to be able to lend a helping hand to anyone who strays from their own path. Just like you all do. I want to help people find their way so they can find their happiness. If Ichinose is trying to find her way, then I should be there for her, just like you were for me. I want to become more like you, so I can be the self that I want to be. Sophia. Does that mean we're saying goodbye to you too now, Sophia? I thought she was stuck in there. Mm -mm. That's not an issue. Sophia, do you remember the first night we met, that full scan of you, in Lavois' attic? Well, I've only been able to hammer away at it little by little, but since that day, I've been working on a program to... to get you out of there. Oh, dude, for real? I, I tried telling you guys a whole bunch of times. I didn't think it'd wind up being a goodbye gift. Taba? 
Sophia's decided what she wants to do. She's found her path in life. So we should congratulate her and send her off with a smile. Right, Futaba? Yeah, you're right. Are you sure this is what you want, Sophia? They're clearly really going to miss you. Yes, it's what I want. But first, I need to hear it from you. May I go with Ichinose? Thanks. Sorry, everyone. I haven't been able to show my appreciation for what you've done for me. Ah, what are you talking about? You know that's not how friends roll. Yeah, friends and members of the Phantom Thieves. Mm-hmm. You'll always be a part of us. Nothing could sever the bond we forged over such high stakes. And we'll never forget the great times we had together. I know you'll be a fantastic companion to Ichinose-san. Sophia, stay safe out there. Thank you. Well, all things considered, have fun with the fun summer vacation. Sad. Let's be better, yeah. Sophia. You know you stay can call cool, anytime. Sophia. You'll always be a friend to us. Yeah. Thank you all. I promise, I won't forget you or our time together. Huh. We'll meet again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no matter what. <laughs> okay, no matter what. Goodbye. Stand my tracks will I sign to pursue lingered in silence, not one single
should be out any second. There! It's about time we got going too, huh? So... So we'll go our separate ways. Once more. It's a little sad. Just saying goodbye, I mean. Come on! It's never goodbye forever! We'll be back in a flash! Sure will! Yeah. Until next time, Phantom Thieves!